Okay, so I want to make this video about, like, I guess drugs, but, like, what is too much? And what does this mean? So, like, when somebody says that person is doing it too much, what they mean is, like, they're basically putting, they're trying to put themselves in that person's shoes and saying, well, if I used drugs that much, it'd be too much. So, like, example is, like, the people who, you know, there's people that get out of work, they work a normal job, and then they maybe drink a beer after work. But that person could have a conversation with another man, and that other man will say, you know, I do something similar. I work my, uh, work hard, and I come home, and I pour myself a few shots, and I take a few shots of some liquor, and I'm chilling. But the guy who drinks the beer every night might say that that's too much. Like, that the guy who's drinking the liquor after work, the dude might say, well, that's too much for me. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. But that's you. That person is doing what they do and you're doing what you do and I'm doing what I do. Like, I use psychedelics pretty often, but people always tell me, like, I'm doing it too much or, like, like I, I don't know how to explain it, but I always think to myself, like, what do you mean too much? Like, why are you using them? Because, like, the reason why I'm tripping is probably different than the reason why somebody else is tripping. But the guy who's drinking the beer after work and the guy that's pouring shots after work, they're doing it for the same reason. Like, to relax after work. All right, maybe they had a hard day at work. So, like, they're like, well, I'm going to get drunk and chill and relax. And before I say the next thing, I have nothing against what people do. Like, this is not me saying, well, my opinion or what I think or whatever the fuck. But what I am saying is, the person who drinks the beer after work, basically judging the person who drinks liquor after work, saying that that's too much. But somebody like me would look at the person who drinks the beer after work and I would say that's too much. Like if you're drinking beer every day after work, that's a problem. Just save it for the weekend. Um, but that's my opinion. And who the fuck am I to tell you when to drink? Who the fuck am I to tell you that that's too much? It's too much because I don't drink alcohol at all. So any drop of alcohol is too much in my mind. Like the effects of it, what it does, and just the whole alcohol culture, it's all too much for me. And it's all like, i am it's not attractive to me. But to other people, it is. It's their thing. It's their life. You can do whatever you want to do with your life. The only problem I feel like we have is people use drugs as an escape. And this is why people say it's too much. Like if, but no matter what, if you're using drugs as an escape, it doesn't matter if you're drinking one beer, 10 beers, 10 shots, doing heroin on the street, whatever, like, the person who's doing heroin to avoid their problems is doing the same thing that the person who drinks alcohol is doing to avoid their problems. Like, they're both using substances to avoid a problem, to avoid a feeling, to avoid reality, or to whatever. Which, once again, it's not my business. Like, I think one of the biggest problems is, like, I get it. Like, you can see if somebody's smoking too much, like, crack, or if somebody's drinking too much alcohol, and, like, if you love the person... If you care for the person, if that's your friend, and they're drinking too much and they're fucking up their life, yeah, you should probably say, bro, stop drinking so much. Like, why don't you just save it for the weekend? But if it's a random person that you do not know, if it's someone you're not friends with or someone you don't genuinely love and care about, then why does it matter whether that person does crack, meth, kratom, weed, alcohol, psychedelics, like, whatever, and yeah, you could say, well, they're doing it too much. But who are you to say that? Why do you think that your opinion is the opinion that everyone around the world should follow? Like, this is why I'm never going to say, don't drink alcohol, even though I don't like alcohol. I, like, at all. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But, like, I won't even hang out with people if they're drinking. I won't be around them. I won't talk. Like, that's how I used to be. But, like, I've gotten a little better with it now, like, because now I am a little more understanding that they drank and I trip. And who the fuck am I to, what am I supposed to do? Put down the beer! Take this psychedelic! Like, no, like, they're them and I'm me. So I'm going to do me and they're going to do them. So, like, I don't know. This is a really complicated thing because I get it because drugs can become addicting and you can lose yourself to drugs and all this other shit. But this is why I'm really an advocate for healing your own mental health and then using drugs. Like, don't just smoke weed to try to avoid your problems. 
fix your fucking problems, and then sit down and smoke so you can actually enjoy the weed. Like, instead of, you know, because, like, these things are funny. You can have somebody who smokes weed, but if they smoke too much, quote-unquote, it can give them anxiety. But that is just the drug showing you you. Like, it's complicated because if you give someone a lot of weed and they don't have anxious thoughts, like if they have control over their mind, then it's going to be fine. But if you give somebody a lot of weed and they don't have control over their mind, then it's not going to be fine. They're going to have an anxiety attack. Like, so for me, I have spiritual psychedelic experiences with weed. I, I don't like to use the word psychedelic, but like there's times where I will use cannabis like a psychedelic. And I will take anywhere between 200 milligrams of pure like Delta 9 distillate or Delta 8 or HHC or whatever the fuck I'm smoking. Or if it's just normal shatter that was extracted from the cannabis flower regardless i'll take 200 to 900 milligrams maybe a thousand milligrams so about a gram of this wax sometimes like 200 to a, you know about that and then i'll add like a little bit like a 0.5 of some weed and i'll brew that into some hot chocolate and then i will drink the hot chocolate and i will go on the experience it's like a psychedelic experience and it's actually more like it's almost more and Somebody would say that that psychedelic, that like cannabis drink is more anxious feeling than like if you took five grams of mushrooms or if you took some LSD or if you took whatever. And this is because these things are really interesting, like under, I don't know the word I'm trying to say. Um, these things are very like, people think because they smoke weed to relax, that it's like, if you're doing an edible, that that's too much. But it's like, why are you doing it? I will take an edible to have a spiritual experience. Like the same reason why I'll take five grams of mushrooms or the same reason why, like, this is my thing and that's why I do it. But if I'm not going to have like a spiritual experience with cannabis, then I'm just vaping on, on some distillate. Like, this is my vape pen. Okay. And I could put my own cannabis distillate in there. So I put my own distillate in here. And I can just vape whenever I want, right? And that's what I do. I vape whenever I want. Whenever I feel like I need to... I'll take a hit. And, like, I don't know how to explain that somebody who smokes weed all day, is a, they're different than you. Just because you think you couldn't smoke weed all day because of such and such and such, or you think you couldn't drink liquor after work because of such and such. Like, it, every human being is their own person. So, like, somebody can say, I drink three cups of coffee a day. And if you drink ten cups, that's too much. Okay? But it's it might not be too much for that person. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And your three cups of coffee might not be enough for that person. Like, somebody who says... Why would you take five grams of mushrooms? That's too much. Or like Kalinda E is a prime example. So many people say, Kalinda E, why the hell would he take 20 dried grams of mushrooms? That's way too much. Well, because he's not doing what you're doing. Like you think that that human is doing what you're doing. Like they're using the substance for the same reason you're using it. And it's not, that's not the case. Kalinda E was using the mushroom shamanically. Like he might not have even said the word shamanic, but he was using it spiritually, diving deep into the mushroom. He wasn't just, because so many people who do mushrooms, they're just tripping, bro. They're just tripping balls. They're staring at the walls. The things are breathing. Things are, oh, it feels good. And yeah, that's what they're doing. Kalinda E was not doing that. So therefore he had to take higher doses and he was doing this thing. But if somebody else was given 20 grams of mushrooms, they would say, yo, bro, that's way too much. But that's because you're not doing what he was doing. The thing I was doing with DMT, when I would smoke DMT, that's what Kalinda E was doing with the mushroom. Like, you don't smoke D. I wasn't smoking DMT because I wanted to get high like weed. Like, but a lot of people are doing mushrooms because they want to get high in a sense. Like, it does feel good. It feels good to trip and all this other shit. But that's why those people believe in the bad trip. Like, I don't, there is no such thing as a bad trip. It does not exist. All of, like... Just like there's no such thing as a bad cannabis experience. There's no such thing as a bad trip. There's no such thing as any of this because all drugs are doing is revealing you to you. Like, it's you. It's all you. 
That's why somebody can take extremely high doses of cannabis and not have an anxiety attack. But if somebody else takes an extremely high dose of cannabis, they'll have an anxiety attack. Because it's not the drug, it's the people. Like, it's nothing to do with the drugs. It has to do with people need to work on themselves. Like, we all need to work on ourselves. We all need to figure out ourselves. Meaning, like, Snoop Dogg knows that he just smokes weed. He doesn't even think about it. He just smokes weed. He doesn't think about it. All the people that said, bro, you smoke too much. It, like, what? That sounded crazy to him. <laughs> just like people who's like, yo, bro, you trip too much. That sounds crazy to me. Because I'm like, y'all seem like you don't trip enough. Half miserable, half depressed, half anxious, half this, half disconnected. Like, of course, I, I trip often because that's what I do to connect with myself. That's what I do spiritually. This is what I do. Like, this is just me. I'm me. But other people, they're tripping because it's a, like it's like some escape to them. Well, come trip with me. I'll, I'll show you an escape. Like, I will take you so far out of this world that you're just going to scream crying saying, I just, I, I want to go back. I don't give a fuck how shitty it was. I'd love to go back. Like, I don't know. This is just the way I think and what I do. And I use psychedelics the way I do. I use plants and herbs the way I do. Like how people will drink. I use motherwort or kava or California poppy or blue lotus or whatever. Like, those are the things that I use or wild lettuce or like whatever. These are the things I use instead of like drinking alcohol or instead of doing these other things. Like, that's just what I do. And it's not like, yeah, you can do too much sometimes. Just like you can do too much Kratom and you throw up. Like, you know, or you can, I don't know. There is a such thing as too much, but not for, like, you can't judge somebody else as too much. Like, you don't have the right. You don't, you're not them. You can only judge if it's too much for yourself. So, like, I guess the best way to, like, fix this problem is humans stop judging each other. So like, I, I'm, I hate alcohol, bro. I fucking hate alcohol. I hate the drug. I wish it was illegal. It's the worst drug to ever exist. It damages humans more than any other drug on the planet. But yet, most of my friends drink. And I'm not sitting there telling, I'm not sitting there preaching to them every day. I see them saying, you need to quit drinking alcohol. It's the worst drug in the fucking world. But, but no, it's not my business. Even if I love them, that's them. It doesn't matter if my opinion is because I don't drink, I don't think people should drink alcohol. And then people be like, because I don't trip often, I don't think people should trip often. Because I don't do that. Like, and it's like, it's it, we get caught up in this I thing of like, because I think like this, other people should. I live like this, other people should. And it's not the case. The one thing I say in my videos the most is that this is what works for me. Because I literally am just documenting me. It's just me. Explaining me, my thoughts, the way I live, the way I trip, the way I think, the way I raise my daughter, the way I... Like, all this shit is just me explaining me. And I'm not telling people that you have to raise your kids the way I raised my daughter. I'm not telling people they have to trip the way I trip. I'm not telling people that they have to do what I do. I'm just telling people what I do. And I, I guess it just shocks people because everyone's... Like, there's this version of the world that's like humans. They go to work and they drink on the weekends and they smoke cigarettes and they do this and like we have this idea of that's human and no that's not human that's not me that's other people but that's not me and like you know i don't know i'm me so like yes you need self-control you need to know yourself because if you don't know yourself you might end up start doing drugs because you hate your life fix your life fix your life fix your mind fix your mental health and don't use the like I'm, this is funny. I was about to say, don't use the drugs in, as an escape. But once again, who the fuck am I to tell you what to do? Like, who am I to say, don't use the drugs as an escape? Like, I'm not your dad. I'm, I'm not your... I'm just a human being. And that documents me and my thoughts and my mind and philosophizes and all this other shit. But like... I think we just need to work on ourselves. I, like, yeah, we could see other people... It's so much easier to see other people. You look out of your eyes and you see other people. It's really hard to see your own face if you don't look in the mirror. So like, yeah, you could see that person drinks too much. That person smokes too much. That person trips too much. But do they? Really? How do you know? What is too much? What does that mean? 
You don't know if somebody is doing something too much. You only know if you are doing something too much. You don't know other people. You don't know their life. You're not... Everyone has a different life. Everyone has a different mind. Everyone is different. So, yeah, I don't know. This is why I talk like I talk a lot about psychedelics and all this and all these molecules and plants and herbs and all this because we are like almost brainwashed to think that alcohol is the only drug we can use and this is the only thing we can do. We live in a world where it's like if somebody says they drink a beer after work every day, nobody's going to talk shit about them. But if somebody said... I take a mushroom every day after work. Somebody might be like, yo, bro, you're tripping too much. Like, what are you talking about too much? There is no such thing. Unless you're dead or it's fucking up your life, I don't think it's too much. I think it's we don't know other people like we know ourselves. So, like, it might be too much for you, but it might be just enough for the next person.